today what we're going to be using is Jamaican black castor oil leave in conditioner. I'm going to be doing a wash and go, but also slick in the front. I think this is more of a like maybe a formal look, but you can also dress this up to go out, parties, anything. And I've been using raw coconut oil by Shea Moisture and also, and I love these. These two products actually leave my hair super soft. And as you know, whenever I do my videos, I usually use Eco Styler as I'm using now. And I always have a problem with white residue with any product that I use. And I know that you're not supposed to mix two, well, Eco Styler and a cream because it's not going to work. But I found out if you use the coconut oil in the middle, so basically using a lock method, so liquid is my water, oil is my coconut oil, and cream afterwards. But actually, um, I'm doing liquid cream oil then gel. Um, what I like to do is spray each section with water and then just run my hands through it. And then I like to do my shingling method. Um, if you haven't seen me do my wash and go, I'll make sure I'll put a link uh, below or above. And I'm just using, I'm just doing my regular wash and go method. Um, shingling, make sure I get my hair all the best definition because um, the top of my head is very loose and the bottom head is a little bit tighter. So if I don't shingle it, my curls will look like more of a wave at the top rather than a curl. So now I'm just doing um, each uh, method, twirling around my finger. Um, the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner is actually my favorite leave-in conditioner. I use it as like just a regular cream, put it in. You can also just use it as a leave-in and then just go, but I mean, in a wash and go, it's not really just a wash and go, it's like wash stroke. Be pretty extra out at the moment, then go. <laughs> Now I just like to put the gel on that. I like to smooth it out first. And if you feel, like sometimes you can feel a little like weird film. So if you do that, you could just put a little bit more gel, but not too much. Um, Cause you don't want your hair to be left too crunchy, which you can always fix that. Um, you could always use your blow dryer. If you don't like using heat, just sleep in the pineapple method and your crunch will be away. But no one really wants to wait the next day. Especially if your hairstyle looks good or if you have to wear it that day. So now that I'm done with the back, I like to take a scrunchie and then just tie my hair up so I can be able to do the front part. Then I'm just going to take the Eco Styler and put it on my edges because baby we got to have slick edges of course. And then I'm going to take my board bristle brush and then I'm just going to brush my hair just to make sure it's slick. I did a middle part. You can always do a side part but I think the middle part is actually going to go great with it. This kind of reminds me of like a Kim K look but instead I can add my curly hair to it. Like a little flair to it and make it my own. Um, once I do that, I'm just going to tie it with the scrunchie. Make sure you don't do it too tight or you pull on something in the back because that's going to give you a headache for the rest of the day. Now when I'm done with that, I like to take the scrunchie out and just make sure how my hair is looking. And now I'm just going to take my toothbrush and I'm just going to do my edges, make sure they're slick, honey. I think I should name my toothbrush something because I use this toothbrush, or it's a different one. I, you never know, but I always use the toothbrush in, in every video. Now that we do that, I'm just going to wait till my hair dries. I've actually diffused it instead of air drying just to shorten up the time. And girl, 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 look at my results. My hair is bouncy. It feels good. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.